We begin today with news impacting travelers all across the country. President Trump ordering the grounding of all Boeing 737 MAX 8s and MAX 9s in the wake of that deadly Ethiopian Airlines crash. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live at Metro Airport tonight to show us how this move is affecting passengers. Kim. Yes, Glenda, the major airlines using the aircrafts in question are United Southwest and American, and the FAA says they are grounded pending further investigation. Planes that are in the air will be grounded if they're the 737 MAX will be grounded upon landing at the destination. The FAA's emergency order is now in effect prohibiting the operation of the Boeing model 737-8 and 737-9 MAX airplanes here in the United States. The pressure has been on the FAA as other countries had moved to ground the Boeings after Sunday's crash of the Ethiopian Airlines plane that killed 157 people just minutes after takeoff. One of the airlines using the 737 MAX in question is United, and this afternoon on Twitter, they said nothing is more important than the safety of their customers and employees, and they will comply with the FAA's order, which affects roughly 40 flights a day. Southwest Airlines also saying they are grounding 34 MAX 8 aircraft, which account for less than 5% of their daily flights. The FAA says the decision to ground the planes was a result of their data gathering process and new evidence collected at the crash site that was analyzed today. I have total confidence in the aircraft itself. It's many years of service, so I don't have any issue with it at all. I'm not really concerned about flying, but I did hear that there have been two incidents in the last five months with that particular plane. So if they want to make sure that they're safe, that seems to make sense. And United Airlines and Southwest Airlines say that they will work with their customers to minimize any disruptions. Reporting live at Metro Airport, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.